At the corner of Fulton and Cambridge Streets in Upper Clinton Hill lives a small school that's doing big things for the community. The Humble School for Martial Arts, founded by Master Sabu Lewis, opened its doors four years ago and now has weekly classes for students ranging from age 3 to 80. But as Fred Brown discovered, the lessons taught at this humble school extend beyond the martial arts. Go! One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, seven, eight, one, two, three. We were only weeks away from the beginning of summer classes right here at the humble school of martial arts where anybody ranging from the age of four to 80 could come and learn classes in self-defense. But there's more than self-defense going on here at this humble little place at the corner of Cambridge and Fulton Street in Brooklyn. And today we stopped by to speak to Master Sabu, the brains and the brawn behind this special school. A friend of mine at first told me about Master Sabu's school. I was uh, trying to uh, find a school to get my children into because their focus was off in school and, and different things of that nature. Um, and I brought him here, you know. Um, my son, like, he was having a lot of problems in school. It's like his discipline is better now, his focus is better. Well, Master Sabu has a wonderful way with children. In addition to teaching them um, uh, self-defense techniques, he teaches them, more importantly, he teaches them um, discipline, how to exercise discipline, how to be, um, how to resolve conflicts uh, amicably. It's fun for me because you get to know karate because cause if, you, if, you, if I didn't go to this class, people will beat me up and I don't know what to do. So now I know what to do. We caught up with the humble master who talked about his commitment to the school and the community. All right, I'll talk to you. What has really kept me involved in the martial arts is the fact that um, it's a, a love that I have and I've been blessed to touch a lot of uh, my students' lives. Um, I think what a lot of the generation is basically facing now, they have more obstacles than they ever really had before. They got the TV, they got the radio, uh, they got the games. Everything is basically taken away from their natural way of learning about themselves. And in one particular incident he shared, this master learned his own lesson. They basically came by and Apparently somebody was following him and during the process of him purchasing something from me, I guess he noticed in the video, basically followed him and the person came in and basically got shot. I encountered a shot in my leg, uh, which I got shot with a nine millimeter. Um, um, I got shot, I got shot inside of my location. Um, I don't know what happened before. Well, I got shot in my leg anyway. Well, the result was I wound up getting um, a nine millimeter bullet in my leg. I had to get a, a rod inserted from my hip to my thigh. Um, How did that affect you mentally? Mentally, it, it was a lesson for me because I'm a type of individual. I give everybody benefit of doubt and I believe everybody has the goodness in them. And because of that, my doors have always been open. When this particular incident happened, my lights were off, my chairs were out, um, I had uh, merchandise on the table. I'm quite sure most other people, they would have had their lights on and doors would probably been closed, but I believe that um, um, but protected by the most high and I believe that when you put out good, good always come back to you. So. And while kids like Malik continue to take their martial arts and self-defense classes on the inside, it's obvious after speaking to this humble man that he's having a big impact on his community right here in Clinton Hill on the outside. For Brooklyn Review, you've been around town with Fred Brown. Thanks Fred and thank you for joining us for this edition of Brooklyn Review. We'd love to hear your feedback, so if you'd like to comment on our show or send us a story idea of your own, please email us at brooklynreview at pcat.tv. I'm Nicole O'Dell, and we'll see you next time on Brooklyn Review.